Last time we did our Renegy unboxing video. We saw all the goods that we had to work with and we went into it feeling very overwhelmed. This time we're going to show you our system design which is going to include our solar panels, our inverter, our batteries, and our controller, how we wired them, and what we'll be using them for on our Us in a Bus adventure. Partying in the woods! Here we go! Alright, here we have the top of our bus. So, as you can see, a very sweet acrylic glass top, side note. Ooh. But here are our four solar panels. We have 400 watts total, so 100 watts each. Again, this comes in the kit number three through Renogy. This can provide us up to 400 watts at a given time. Look, the things that came with the hold down the solar panel even say Renogy on them. I mean, they really thought it all out. Welcome to our central station for all of our power. So as we said, our solar is coming down through the roof. We got it coming back here and we got it coming into the controller. Now there's a lot of other parts in here um, that aren't necessary. We decided to put some amp breakers in just to make sure all of our devices were protected if something were to happen uh, electrically. But uh, let's walk you through this. The first thing we're gonna talk about is our controller. So the controller um, is gonna show you all of our information here. So it shows you how much battery percentage we have. It'll show you the volts. It'll show you if you're running a load off of the load side, um, as well as solar. So if we go to the solar section, this switch we also installed. So this will shut off the solar if we need to work with any of the wires going up to the solar. We're gonna turn it on. When we turn that on, the moon went up to a sun. And now, um, as you can see, we're getting 74 volts. We're not even parked in the sun right now. So we're getting 74 volts, um, which is coming back here to the battery. Now, if you decide to go solar, you are gonna need a controller of some sort. Um, again, Renogy makes everything easy. You can get the whole kit. I believe the kit comes with the controller. And now we're gonna proceed to talk about our batteries. The batteries do not come with these cases. We ordered these on Amazon. Yes, now we will be, we will be making a future video that's gonna talk more of the ins and outs of all of our cords, all of the amp breakers and everything, but for right now, we're just talking simple design. Um, we have two lithium batteries. Again, lithium is gonna give you more um, constant flow as well as more storage, better in the cold, all, all sorts of stuff compared to other batteries. We also have connected to the batteries um, this inverter. Now the inverter, we have a 2000 watt inverter, which means we can run up to 2000 watts off of this. Now coming into the inverter, you'll see we have these cords here. That's for our 120 volts, so that's gonna be all of our outlets. We put one in there, one in here, and we'll have a couple more back this way. The inverter allows you to change the power. Um, we've also put in this switch here, so this is gonna allow us either to go onshore or offshore. Um, that allows to go through outlets, RV outlets, um, plug into our house, or just run everything off of our batteries using the sun power. The 2000 watt inverter allows you to have three external plugins here. So for instance, we have our Bluetooth speaker, which Grace loves to dance to when she's partying. Yes. Um, we also have our saw plugged in right now. So with this on the remote, Grace, will you turn on the remote over there? Since it's on remote mode, you'll hear it kick in back there. That's gonna turn on. Now that we have our speaker plugged in, our speaker should be turning on, as well as our saw. What's that? Light just went on. Okay. So we have our solar coming in as our main source of power. We also have our RV outlet, which we can either plug an RV outlet in, a regular outlet, or our generator into from the outside. The third way we can use or to get power is uh, through our charger. So we have our charger just kind of temporarily but permanently set up here with our Renogy charger. This will allow us to plug in here. Red light will be on while these are charging. As soon as they're charged up, it turns green. You'll have full power. This will only be used in case of emergencies. Hopefully we don't have to use it, but if we do need it, it's tucked away, super easy to use. Should have no problem with power. Basically what he's trying to say is Renogy is the power you need. It's super easy to figure out even though this whole thing seems super complicated. You got this.